Hey, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team. And in this video, we're going to take a look at working with classes in Oxygen. So to get started, we're just going to build a basic layout. So we're going to click add and we're going to add a section. Then we're going to drop in some columns. We'll do three columns here. And we're just going to build some basic icon boxes. So we'll start with an icon. And we'll do a text element. And we'll do another text element. Let's go ahead and just center everything. And we'll call this uh, icon box heading. Put that placeholder text in there. Placeholder description goes down here. All right, so we have our basic elements for an icon box, but because we wanna work with classes, which allows you to style multiple elements at once, we're gonna do a little bit of setup here before we start styling these elements. So we're gonna select the icon, and we're gonna go up here to the top of the properties pane, and you'll either see choose selector to edit, or you might see this ID badge and an ID. Either way, click whatever you see here to trigger the dropdown, and then you'll be able to type a class name to add it to this element. So in this case, we're just gonna call this class icon, and we will add that. And so what a class does is it's basically a set of CSS properties that apply to any element that has that class. So you could think of it kind of like a preset, but it's essentially a core CSS feature. If you're familiar with CSS, you'll obviously know exactly what I'm talking about when I say class. So now that we've got that class on that icon, we also need one for the icon box heading. So we'll just call this class heading and click add class. And then we'll go down to the description and call this description and add class. Now, if this was a real website, you probably would want to add some more descriptive class names or some kind of a prefix. So for instance, when I'm working on a larger website, sometimes I'll prefix it with something like, for instance, oxy underscore, and then the name of the class. You can use dashes or underscores to compose your class name in a way that's easy for you to work with. But in this case, we can go with very, very simple class names. So now that we've done the preliminary setup, we can go ahead and duplicate these elements and place them where we want them to go. So we want one right there and one right there for the icons. Do the same with this. So we're just using the duplicate icon at the top of the properties pane and duplicating these elements, which also duplicates the uh, class that's been assigned to them. So we don't need to do that again for these elements. And then we'll drag this over here. And then we're just gonna center all of these uh, columns here. So now we've got everything laid out, it's time to style. So we probably want this icon to be a little different than it is. So let's go ahead and choose uh, solid. And as you can see, because I have the class selected at the top of the properties pane, the styles that I change for this element are going to apply to every other element that has that class. That's the beauty of classes here is that you can really save yourself a ton of work. And it doesn't matter if all the elements are on the same page because oxygen classes are global. So even if these icons exist somewhere else on the site, when we change the styles with the class selected, it's gonna change the styles for any icon that has that same class. So that's both a blessing and something that you do need to be mindful of. If you have icons elsewhere that use the same class, but you don't want them to match the styles, you have to be mindful and maybe use layered classes. Uh, for instance, we could add another class to this called icon large, and then we could change the icon size with that class selected. So then if we wanted any other icon to be large, we could jump over here, for instance, and make this one large. And when you start typing a class name, it's going to go ahead and suggest classes with that string or partial string in the name. So we just type large and it showed us the icon large class. And if we add that, you can see that now it changes the size. So that's a little example of how you can use Oxygen's classes to build kind of utility class systems, things like that. For instance, I like to add a box shadow class to every site I build because typically you want your box shadows to be consistent across elements. And so that class just contains the styles for box shadows. So we're going to go back and remove this icon large because that was just to illustrate an example. And we're going to go back to just styling these how we want. So let's change the icon color here. 
Let's go with something like red. And now you're gonna see something interesting here. We have a red icon, but only one of them has changed. And that's because we have the ID selected at the top of the properties pane. ID styles apply only to the element you have selected. So when you're working with classes, it's important to be mindful of which selector is active up here at the top of the properties pane. So I'm gonna click this again and make sure I have my icon selected. But first, I need to clear the styles that I've added to the ID. So let's drop this down and let's just go to this eraser icon on the ID. And that's going to clear all the styles applied to the ID, which is super useful if you've accidentally styled the ID instead of a class and then later want to use a class. You can also use this icon here to copy the styles from the ID to the class or from the class to the ID or from a class to any other class. This copy to icon will be really, really helpful if you're doing a lot of class juggling. So let's jump over to the class again and we're going to change the icon color. And you'll see now that this applies to all the elements because they all have the same class. And we'll go with kind of a violet color there. And background color, we'll leave it as kind of an off-white, maybe darken it a bit. Then we can move on to the heading. And we're going to go ahead and just adjust this text color to a darker black. We're gonna change the font size to 22 pixels, change the font weight to 600. And then we're gonna to go to advanced size and spacing and add some margin to the top and to the bottom to get that spaced out a little bit better. Now we can go down here to this text element and we could do the same thing. We can change the size up or down. Any CSS property will apply to the class we have selected and will apply to any elements with that class. Now with that said, there are some properties in Oxygen's GUI that are not CSS properties and so are not part of the styles that are carried over when you add a class to another element. So for instance, if we select an icon element and we go down here and look at our actual icon, we can change this even with the class selected, but it's not gonna change the icon that's used on all the other classes. And that's because it's not a CSS property. Only CSS properties are saved under classes. So let's go ahead and change this icon as well. And we'll change the last one. Now we have a nice set of icon boxes that are using oxygen classes. So later, if we decide we want to change, say, the size of this icon, it's a little bit too big or too small or whatever we decide, we can adjust it easily in one place without having to adjust the styles on every element. And that really is the true power of oxygen's classes. So again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and that's how to work with classes in Oxygen. Thank you very much for watching.